What's up guys, Chris here for Reviews and Stuff. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit photography like I do and make it look like this. Uh, as you see here, this is the original photo and this is what it's going to look like after you watch this video. If you follow along, if you have a photo uh, of your own that you want to use, you could make that photo look like this. Okay, so what you want to do is um, get a photo. As you could see, uh, this isn't the clearest of all photos. It's not the best photo. It's uh, kind of blurry in the background. It's not a professional photo shoot or anything. But I'm basically going to show you how to turn this image into the one you just previously saw. Now what you want to start with is adjusting the temperature and the tint here on the right side. Um, you want to just honestly, it's your photo. You want the output. Um, you you want it to look how you uh, want it to look basically so uh, you just play around with this don't go too far out because it's just gonna give you ridiculous looks what you want to do is um, just adjust it if you mess it up too much you want to go to how it previously was just double click on this temp icon here now you just uh, adjust it a little bit just so the colors look like uh, they did that day and uh, adjust the tint a little bit you could see you could go exaggerate and see what it changes and then just change it a little bit sometimes you don't even need to change it so you can see if I raise it it gives uh, the blue a little bit more blue so I'm just gonna do that now for exposure if your photo is too dark you could uh, make it brighter if it's too bright you can make it darker uh, I like to keep it the way it is and then skip over to the highlights shadows whites and blacks and adjust these the shadows as you would imagine only controls the shadows and um, as you can see if I put it too high up you can see the engine bay here so I'm going to actually lower it a little bit and it might look dark now but you'll see later why I do that and then the shadows bring it up a little bit so you could see the inside of the of the hood the inside of the engine bay the whites you could bring it up a little bit and you see you get that brightness back a little bit and the blacks if you bring it too high up it looks too even everywhere so just bring it a little bit up now if it's still too dark if it's still too bright you could play with the exposure the contrast only messes with the color which you can do if you want your color to be a little you know, I have a little more contrast. If if you don't know what that means, you can just play around with it. The thing about editing photographs is it's your photo. You know how you want it to look. So I would raise it up a little bit in this instance. And uh, clarity is what can either make your photo or break your photo. Uh, what a lot of people do is raise the clarity all the way up and it looks amazing but you can't put too much of it and when I say too much I don't mean all the way up I mean too much meaning every single one of your photos then it all looks the same so now let's say I want to make it more vibrant put a little bit more color into it and what I want to do with this photo is uh, I want to make everything black and white and right away you would think oh that's Photoshop I don't want to mess with that I don't want to mess with two programs at once that's not true what you do is you click on this adjustment brush here and uh, it might have previous settings here what you had before you just double click to reset them what I would do <clears throat> is I would change the what was it uh, saturation yeah the saturation all the way down and now you could scroll your wheel to make this a little smaller if you want to make the outside what uh what this is is um the inside circle is what is definitely turning black and white and the outside it like kind of fades it in so it looks pretty realistic now what you can also do is invert if you like let's say accidentally go over the car and you want to get it back you hold out this is this is for windows so it would be out on Mac it's probably a different color just go over the part you just messed up go over the black and white part what you can do if your object that you're focusing on is a lot smaller you can literally make it as big as possible and just make everything black and white if you don't want to miss any details and then press alt and just go over the car only the car 
and now you could see since it's circular you can't get into these cracks and crevices so then you make it even smaller and you fix that up go over the mirrors here go over the lip the bumper go over the lights everything so you don't miss anything and now you might want to make uh, the regular one small again and just go over it go over the outsides if you think you missed something still has some color here in the mountains so um there it is that's the colors that I wanted to look like how I wanted to be now for the details um, let's get out of the brush you could see you could see if you make it bigger that it's still a little grainy so what you want to do here you have a zoomed in photo you want to change this up the sharpening you might want to bring up a little bit and it makes it sharper obviously I'll bring it up to about 70 you see it's it's sharp it has the color to it it's still a little bit uh, grainy but you'll see that I reduce the detail it's it's sharp but the detail goes down so that it basically cancels each other out uh, let's bring this up to 2 and then mask it at about 30 and now it's a lot a lot more detail a lot less grain and and it just looks a lot better already this photo looks really professional really nice now if you use the specific lens here I use the Sigma uh, what was it 10 to 20 so it's a fisheye and the corners a little bit darker as you see so it's like natural vignetting you can cancel that out by pressing profile correction and I don't like the way that looks uh, so I just use the natural vignetting so it's a lot darker on the corners on the side so it basically what this does is it tries to cancel out what your what your lens does and it reads the lens that you had on there for if you uh, shoot in um, <clears throat> in raw because that's how you get the best uh, the best details so very quick very easy just go through everything uh, if you like the settings that I use you could check them out here you could see them you could screenshot them you could use it on your own Lightroom this is Lightroom 5 <clears throat> and this is gonna conclude my how to edit car photography like I do on Lightroom